Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the reason why it is interesting to see how bees navigate at night is that if you look at bees, we all know that bees are active during the daytime. We've all seen bees visiting flowers during the daytime. And so with this being their primary function where they have to gather food from flowers and most flowers as we know open during the daytime and then they close at night. So therefore they have evolved in such a way to tune their activity to the daytime which means that they have also developed visual adaptations or eyes which are suitable for foraging during the day. Now, uh, but however, there are, like you mentioned, there's this interesting group of bees where you find that there are some species that navigate at night. And therefore, it becomes interesting to ask this question as to how do they do it? I mean, what kinds of special adaptations? Are their eyes special in any way, which allows them to, uh, you know, be, be able to fly in an oriented way at night? And secondly, why do they need to do it? Why have they evolved that kind of a nocturnal lifestyle when their closely related uh, sister species are all diurnal? So this is why I was looking at this bee. And uh, we do have, I mean, this is an ongoing study, though we know that, you know, they have special adaptations which makes their eyes much more sensitive at low light levels, which the diurnal bees lack. However, we are also looking, we haven't, we don't have a complete understanding of as to why do they have to be active during the night. So we think that it has to do with uh, high levels of predation and uh, also competition for resources, which means that if they partition into being active at night, they can reduce levels of competition and also exploit a unique niche within the limits of physiological adaptations. So this is something that we, uh, along with my students, we, complete, we continue to work on these aspects. And hopefully we will be closer to being able to answer some of these questions in the near future.